cancer. And it's time. Da 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 da. If I can get these cards off here, I'm definitely shaving this down because that's just starting to piss me off. Just a little bit. It's time for your mid August to September reading. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. I'm right. It's like the beginning of the month and it's throwing me off because, like, mine and my husband's paychecks are three days, so. <clears throat> anyway, Cancer. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts, y'all, because if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game. It won't work if you don't believe in it after all, right? Right. Oh, so after this, if you want a personal reading, just hit me up in my email, Facebook, or Instagram down below. The Instagram's more for memes. I'm just letting you know, so if you want a good chuckle, you just look there. But other than that, nothing really serious goes down. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's see what's going on with y'all. It's going to be six ways, because I feel like being lazy today. Ooh, you got the Nine of Pentacles. You've been keeping vigil for some reason. Uh, new beginning, or a head start of sorts, a offer of power, if you will, with this dragon. This dragon is helpful, but, like, it only helps if it wants to. That's the situation. Your wants and wishes, my dears, ten of cups, with emotional fulfillment. The obstacle about that is, you know, like, causing more harm than good to yourself than any other situation. Um, this alchemist is bleeding a tree, but unfortunately the blood is his and not the tree's like it normally is. Usually he'd be able to, like, take the tree's dead energy to produce some pentacles, but he's done it one too many times. Bit off more than what you could chew is what I would say with this scenario. So it's sucking something else dry, now it's sucking you dry. You got the Nine of Swords and the Fears and Rejections. Catalyst, as well as the final result, the shit that started this, as well as how it'll end. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords are reversed, by the way. Sorry about that. And the beginning theme. Four of Swords. Not resting it up. Not taking a break. Not rejuvenating yourself. Not taking a pause, if you will. I also want to say Relentless. Which is really weird to say, Cancer. Like, super fucking weird. So let's see. <laughs> Just the two nines in the corners. You know? It's like they both are the peak of, like, the entire issue. And I can't tell if this Ten of Cups is in status or the actual thing because, you know, we got this down here and, like, there's something financial attached to it, too. Mind you, cross watch or switch where you need to. Like, we don't judge here. All right. Nine of Pentacles, or not Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, right? Um, keep your guard up, keep it vigil, <coughs> but you're tired, right? This involves not sacrificing something when it comes to the Three of Cups. Um, because you want your home in order or some shit, or you're trying to invest in your home. What? Or like... Or someone's pretending to look a certain way? Because, you know, that kind of goes with this one and this right here. You know, because I'm getting that with this. It's like, this is more of an image thing. And right here, it's like costing somebody a little bit more than what they can chew. And this feels like someone's sacrificing, not sacrificing their emotions based on the fact that they want their house to look nice or some shit or whatever. Trying to make what they feel like is home perfect. It's like keeping up a vigil to keep that identity going. Because I like I always feel like the nines are about identity. You know, like 
how you see yourself versus how you engage yourself with the world with Jesus Christ with the world <laughs> as well as yourself you know like things that you face about yourself for I don't actually know what they mean tarot wise but that's just how I always feel because it's always an individual um, it's never actually um, multiple people every time I look at the cups you know Someone was wanting the victory. They restricted their cups, but when they like turned their back, they got all old and the, everything burnt the fuck down. So they had to pretend that they were asleep so they didn't get as as much trouble as possible. Is that what? Is that what I'm getting here, Cancer? Because that's very odd. You guys always have somebody like fucking around in the background. I swear. Like, like it's like you went to sleep and then everything went to shit because you decided I'm taking my cup away, like doing the whole mom thing. Where it's like when your when your kids are mad at you and you want to like teach them a lesson to never be mad at their mother, you just kind of withhold your love and be a dick to them and shit. And it's just kind of like, dude, why would you do that? Like, that's me. One of those things where it's like you're looking back on it and seeing how it didn't bring you a victory by doing this. I thought it's the person you're dealing with. One of the two. There's always like somebody doing some Jake shit. Ace of Pentacles. This offer, magnificent. Esther, Queen of Wands, right here. She is breathing some shit in, having her bullshit radar on point, or on fleck, or whatever the kids call it now. I have no fucking clue, honestly. I'm getting to that point where I'm that old. <laughs> ah, and Fannie Mae, look at that. I think someone's trying to feel out when she's going to turn around. Stand in the place where you were, now face left. Think about the direction where you go, and I want you to. Stand in the place where you were. It's kind of like waiting for someone to turn around. Like, in order to make this offer right here? Or Fannie Mae right here and Esther are the same person? They got their back turned, but they can feel some bullshit. Or they can sense the shit. Or something like that. But somebody is, um... Exerting a lot of restraint with this Queen of Wands. Because, like, she has her eyes closed. She's not looking over anything. She's feeling over everything. And Fannie Mae is a gentle creature. Um, and she gets easily scared when startled in the woods, right? So it's easy for her to turn her back. Because we earth signs hate people who hurt her feelings. <laughs> but I feel like that's kind of like a part of it. It's like she's feeling out um, when to have her back turned and when she can turn around. Or someone's waiting to see when she turns her back. Like trying to use her senses to like smell out a victim. I'm going to put another card on there because I'm a little bit curious. <clears throat> yeah, so someone can offer some fucking bullshit. Okay, somebody's waiting. Yeah, someone's waiting for her to turn around with the offer. Hence, they will offer some bullshit. Like, someone's waiting for someone to, like, offer some shit. That way they can just throw it back in their face or something. Just be like, oh, this is a pitiful, pitiful pentacle. How dare you present me with such a shitty pentacle? I deserve better, you know? Something like that. Like, someone's spoiled or some shit. Like, I don't know. Ten of Cups right here. The want and wish is like that emotional fulfillment, completion, that happiness. Waiting for something to be delivered. It'll slowly but surely, hopefully, promisingly come to that. Mmm. Uh, but nah, it's what? This is like someone surprised you took off. And. Like this person's been done gone a while ago. On their hearse. On, on their hearse. On their horse, going completely. 
different direction from this person on the porch. It's almost like you're wanting that wish fulfillment, Cancer or Boss Watchers alike. Yeah, because you thought you had the right idea or some shit like that, right? And then next thing you know, you turn around and like, dude's gone and you're just like, what the hell? Steve, you get back here. <laughs> Steve's going elsewhere in the dead of night. Steve's just in the middle of, Steve's in the fucking desert in the middle of the night. That's his name now. His name's Steve. That's Steve. <laughs> I'm gonna name all these cards by the time I'm done with this shit. That makes me happy. We got Steve Esther and Fannie Mae. Fuck it. Page of Pentacles can be Paul since he's up here. I don't give a shit. I wonder if I'll even remember all these names. Anyway! Seven of Pentacles Reverse. That's the obstacle and challenge for somebody, right? So it's like, this is an alchemist, he uses his magic to cause, you know, fruit to grow on the tree. Now this causes the tree to bleed at times, but this is a limited use. And now it's to the point where, like, if he bleeds the tree again, he's gonna cause his own blood to come out instead of the tree. Because the tree has nothing left in it. So a sacrifice must be made, and the gold one and the old ones will be satisfied with the- Okay, I'm done. Sorry, that got a little bit creepy, but you know. That's kind of the gist of it. It's just kind of like it's getting to the point where it's like black magic now. Which, black magic isn't black magic, you know, unless there's like a complete, utter, unwilling sacrifice, as people would suggest, which is just kind of like, that's really hard to do. But an idiot can do it. Paul can do it. Paul can do anything. <laughs> Okay, um, someone walked away after they got done with some bullshit. Or they should have released some bullshit. I feel like this person should have let some shit go. Instead of walked away. Because now it's like their shit just getting worse. Like this is the start of a, um, bad beginning, I will suggest. Huh. Steve and Paul, Paul could both be Earth signs? Mind ya. Well, so can well, Fanny Mae, too. There's like Earth all over this right now. Alright. Nine of Swords reverse. The fear and rejection with this person? Being an enemy. En la, 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 la. Being an enemy and having everybody hate them and want to beat their ass. Just beat their ass. Just come after them for everything they've done. Um, because this new beginning that they... Okay, so they were going for this, but they ended up with this. The start of a fucking disaster? Like that one action had an impact that they were not expecting. <clears throat> or they're rejecting that theory. Huh. That's so interesting. This is an odd querent, I will say. I will say that much. Whatever this is, Cancer, you are the person you are dealing with. Cross Roger, switch were necessary, of course. Eight of Swords, how this shit began and how this shit will end. Someone being mentally tormented by their emotions to the point where they're throwing themselves off of a fucking window. Or out of a fucking window. Onto some swords that lay below them. Which is their mentality. They wanted to resurrect something that was dead. That they didn't see it for what it was before like they were too engaged in their stupid la la land to realize that like you know or they were too busy invent like envisioning this scenario rather than actually acting on it because this is the two of wands after all it's all about choices this person didn't make a choice um, they just stood there staring at a choice, being like, this is the sun in the background, and that's how I made it, and I did it in our class, that's how it's gonna be, and, 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 you know, they're kind of doing that shit, and it's really annoying, because they got, like, a high-pitched voice or some shit. It's like someone bragging about, like, their followers on fucking Instagram, which is like, okay, 
You sound like a narcissist. Who the fuck cares? It's Instagram. Like, everybody's on there trying to make some bank. You just sound really dumb saying shit like that, you know? It's one of those where it's just like someone's so much more busy with their catalog, they don't realize they could have done this. And now it's like they're kind of tortured because they didn't go through with it. The Four of Swords. Ew. Three of Wands. Someone did not wait for something good or ended something that like had great fruitful value to it and now they're having issues with um making themselves feel like the break is over it's almost like yeah it's kind of like someone wasted some fucking time good job steven paul <laughs> you dicks uh Alright, let's see. There's a relationship from the past. Um, it left somebody emotionally unfulfilled, right? But there was... It ended with a lot of petty shit going on. You know? And a wish was made. A wish was made. And that was a dumb wish because it came with hubris. Right? to where someone didn't know what kind of options to take. Every option they took was fucking retarded. Well, not retarded, just really stupid. I shouldn't say the argument. I didn't mean to. I apologize. But, ooh, yeah. Like, they knew intuitively that none of that shit would work, too, because this is something that, like, it's, it's almost like... Oh, it's almost like hindsight's 2020 with this one too because it's like it's almost like they're looking back with the options and then coming to the realization and then this shit worked like they got what they wanted in the end I feel like though that's not exactly what they were intending like this person made a mistake yeah bad karma Bad shit. Um, ooh, this querent made someone walk away indefinitely. Just like in this card with the Six of Cups, there's a person in the background walking away from this scenario of the past. And now someone's walking away from them because I guess they're sick of their shit or something. Like, who really knows? Because it was a bad relationship. Could have been a Capricorn, right? But that's okay. Because <clears throat> they are happy ruling the way they are. They might be young, but they're going to figure out all of this craziness. They're just, like, they're just a little bitter at the, for a bit. That's all. It's just going to be a while. Cancer, it could be that um, this person right here... I thought they were ready to rule as empress. And not so much. Like, they looked good, naive, not knowing better from the start, but it's like they get older and it's like, hmm. I don't know, because she kind of becomes a bitch. I'll pull one more and then we're done. Okay? Okay. Yeah, okay, I can see why she's bitchy. Um. Let's see, what's it called? Lack of closure, business is closed, nothing's going well. It's all similar to a reading I did the other night where uh, someone married for money and then they regretted it a little bit. And I hope you guys aren't doing that. Oh, Lord. What was that? What was that? Oh, here's the emperor. Um, counterpart to the empress. That's her baby. And he looks all dickish. All cranky and shit. So, I don't know. That's up for you to figure out, Cancer. I have no idea what the fuck the story is. But it was interesting as hell. That's the end of the video. So, if you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. I'm not going to be upset. It's all your choice, really. I appreciate it, though. I love you guys, and I love your faces, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.